Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about saltwater mollies and why if you have a saltwater tank, you have to have these awesome fish. I have these fish in two tanks. One, which you're seeing now, is my breeding tank, and the other is my community reef tank. Saltwater mollies can get to an average size of two to three inches when full grown. They typically live for about three to five years with proper care. Water temperatures should be between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The salinity in the tank should be between 1.020 and 1.025, with a pH between 7.8 and 8.4. They can be kept with almost all peaceful fish, including clownfish, tangs, wrasses, gobies, firefish, cardinals, etc. Their diet should consist of flakes, pellets, frozen fruits, along with plenty of algae in the tank to graze upon. As you can see, I have one half of my tank clear from algae and the other half with algae growing on the walls. That way they always have plenty to graze on. I also let detritus grow in my tank as they will also graze upon the algae and keep a healthy ecosystem. Mixed in upon the detritus, I also have baby astrea snails, as they have recently spawned in my tank, and many of them have hatched. Breeding saltwater mollies is very simple. As long as you have males and females in the same tank, they will spawn. The typical ratio is one male for every three to four females. That way your females do not get harassed by the males. As you can see, I breed these fish and I have some babies in my basket. That way they do not get eaten by the adults. These fish are live bears, which means they do not lay eggs and they give birth to live young. If you are trying to breed these fish and you have larger fish that can become predators to newly born babies, I strongly suggest moving the mother into a separate tank or a breeder box. That way the fry do not get eaten. However, these fish will soon overpopulate your tanks and you will have more of them than you can ever imagine. So keep this in mind if you try breeding them. You can probably find these fish at your local fish store, and if not, you can definitely find freshwater mollies that you're able to acclimate over to salt water. But when acclimating them, make sure you do this carefully. Slowly drip acclimate them into the salt water over the course of three to four hours. That way, they do not go into shock. When picking out your mollies to acclimate into salt water, choose the biggest, healthiest, and strongest ones, as weaker ones may die during this process. These fish really are a great addition to any saltwater tank as long as they are compatible with your current tank members. They will help graze upon any unwanted algae and get rid of it, along with add a fun splash of color to your tank. So I definitely suggest purchasing one of these for your tank. These fish are just so much fun to watch swim around and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!